so I'm back. I came from France. I found this this construction site. And I swear to God, what they're constructing there is terrifying. There's a potential that they could use water in this. Like before, Coaster Shell's going to give you an update. I've sent all the information to him. He's going to broad that broadcast to the EU right now. I can't get my words out. I'm so terrified. I thought that thing was going to, I don't know, communicate. It's like a strange being from Matt Rise that nobody's ever seen before. I just, I think something might be up with this thing. I gotta go. Stay tuned for Costa Shell. He'll give you everything you need to know. I gotta go. Hello there guys, my name is Coast Shadogs to Bomb Bob Built for Theme Park News and welcome to a Theme Park News update where today we don't have any pictures, but we are going to show off some more construction on Negro Lands. 2021 coaster and the fact that it's set to be a Mac water coaster and yes it is pronounced Neglo land because someone in France actually commented down below on the last video and said that's how it's pronounced so uh, Neglo land is opening a brand new Mac coaster in 2021 but what type of coaster well you'll be able to check it out very very soon so before we get started please like comment subscribe click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video please share with your friends your family and on social media and make sure you keep getting your questions in using that hashtag question before or after your question. And for now, guys, let's get into another video. So, let's get into another video from Neglo Land. And of course, you're probably thinking, what is this Mac coaster? What's it going to be? Well, it is a Mac water coaster. Not confirmed, but it looks like it could be a Mac water coaster from the recent construction that I have seen over the forums over the last week or two. So... Basically, for those of you who don't know what's going on, and I would recommend you go and checking out some pictures all over the forums from France. The Coaster Force Forum has its own thread page for the Neglo Land 2021 edition. So I would recommend uh, you go and check that, that out for the recent pictures as well. But, basically, what looks like some splash pools have been dug out on site, and this... Uh, the recent site clearing uh, and the digging down looks like it could be for some kind of Mac water coaster and it looks to be potentially a custom layout. Now, obviously we spoke in the last video, thanks to our secret agent spy, uh, getting all the information. Obviously you saw him uh, in the intro there, advising you guys to, uh, to stay tuned to this video uh, for my update on this. Uh, <laughs> um, basically, yeah, this is potentially going to be a custom layout water coaster by Matt Rides, but we were predicting in the last video how it could have been a big dipper, it could have been an extreme spinner, maybe it could have been a different Mac coaster, um, the specific type, but maybe a different type of coaster, but there were rumblings that Neglo Land were going to add some kind of Mac water coaster in the future maybe, uh, so it looks like it's going to come true. Uh, obviously this is not confirmed it's going to be a water coaster by Matt Rides. We know it's Matt Rides because of the footers that we showed you um, and we talked about in the previous video on this. But from the recent construction it looks very much like a water coaster construction is going on on site. So I'm very excited about this. Now for those of you who need a little bit of an insight into a Mack water coaster. Basically, uh, this is nothing to do with like the new power splash uh, kind of things. Uh, this is nothing to do with that. Uh, so, if you want some examples of a Mac water coaster, uh, you're looking here uh, at the Mac super splashes. So, uh, the seven models of these. There are four which are a clone of Atlantica super splash, which is. Uh, not it's not the originating uh, Super Splash. Uh, however, it started off the clones of Atlanta Super Splash. Um, but the original one started in 2003, and that was Super Splash at Tuzenfried. Of course, we spoke about that park in the past. They're going to get like a swing launch coaster for 2021. So, uh, you know that park's already you know adding, um, you know next season. Uh, and of course, it started from there really. So two years after. Uh, they brought in the one in Tuzenfried. They brought in Atlantica Super Splash at the 
famous Europa Park in Germany. Uh, and then two years after that, they brought in Journey to Atlantis at SeaWorld San Antonio in Texas. And then over in Nantau County, Taiwan, they created Armada Invincible, which is over at Formosan Aboriginal Culture Village over in Taiwan. Uh, and then the next one wasn't until 2014 after 2008, and that was at Chimelong Ocean Kingdom. Uh, which is in Guangdong, China, and it was known as Walrus Splash, with some very nice rock theming going down that drop. Very, very nice. Um, then, of course, in 2018, they revealed Tiger Leaping Gorge over in China, uh, specifically Yunnan, China, at Colorful Yunnan Paradise. Uh, and for the first time, well, for the first time in Europe, since Super Splash in 2005 at Europa, for the first time in Europe for... Uh, se uh, for about 17 years. Uh, in 2022, it was originally 2021, but it looks like it's been moved to 2022 according to the Roller Coast database. La Paul is set to add their Mac Super Splash. Now, that is what we are looking at here. Now, we could also look at a normal water coaster, and of course, um, there is uh, three versions, well, there's two other versions of one version. Uh, and that is Skatoan. And that uh, this is to Joe's Summerland. So this sort of part we were just talking about recently. Uh, about their new coaster that's set to possibly come in 2022 on the Jungle Safari site. It is confirmed, by the way, that that's on the Jungle Safari site. Thank you very much. You know who you are on the forum. Uh, <laughs> but their water coaster, Skatoan. And that's very different to, obviously, the, um, the Super Splashes. Uh, but, for those of you who need a little bit of a lesson in what they were, so this all started off way earlier than the uh, Super Splashes in 1998, and that was with Journey to Atlantis at SeaWorld Orlando. Then it originated in my birth year 2000 with Poseidon at Europa Park. Uh, that's another one that's been compared to pretty much. Uh, then in 2004, Journey to Atlantis again, but this time at SeaWorld San Diego. And then... Uh, two years after that, in 2006, at Aqua Show Family Park in Cartera, Faro, Portugal, they introduced Montana Russa. Uh, and then after 2006, they brought one in in 2011, which is, of course, Skatonan at Joe's Summerland. Storm Coaster at SeaWorld, uh, which is a part, not SeaWorld in terms of the chain, but SeaWorld, which is a separate park in Queenlands, Australia. They're set, they're set to get their uh, Martin and Vlemix uh, wooden coaster Leviathan. Uh, very, very soon. Uh, so, Storm Coaster at SeaWorld Australia opened in 2013, two years after Skatonan. Then, the year after Storm Coaster, Polar Explorer came in at Chimelong Ocean Kingdom in Guangdong, China. Uh, now, of course, after that one, uh, and the latest one uh, in the lot, is Kraken's Revenge. Now, this is at Desaro Coast Adventure Water Park in Johor, Malaysia. And this is, of course, a clone of Skatonan. So, it's unsure at the minute whether it looks to be a super splash or we could be looking at a water coaster. And again, that opens up sub debates, I guess, like subcategories of debate. Because we don't know if it's the super splash, whether it's going to be a clone of Atlantica Super Splash or if it's going to be a custom layout or a clone of a different coaster or, or like a clone of one of those custom layouts. Or if they're going to go down the water coaster route, we don't know if it's going to be a custom layout or a clone of Skatoan at Joe's Summerland, or it's going to be a clone of one of the custom coasters. So, that opens up plenty of debate on this project still, uh, at Niglo Land in France. Obviously, you, I told you guys about the park uh, in the last video on this. Obviously, they've got many great rides, such as Alpine Blitz, that's a great coaster. Uh, I love the look of that coaster, it's brilliant. Um... And I think this is, this is going to be a welcome addition to the park. It may not be the Big Dipper or the Extreme Spinner that maybe some of us were hoping for. However, I think it'll still be a great addition for the public and for the enthusiast because it's a water coaster. It's exactly what the park needed. Uh, and I think it'll be a great addition to the park. So, thank you very much, guys, for watching this update from Negloland. And you never know, maybe this coaster is, you know, no Noizete Express, which is the kids' coaster coming this year. That was like the filler for 2021. Maybe 2021 is a filler for a future attraction uh, over in 2023 or 2024, maybe. Uh, Niglo Land are an ever-growing park, so I think that they're going to uh, grow even more. So thank you very much for watching this news update from Niglo Land. Uh, please like, comment, subscribe. And for now, guys, my name is Coach Shell, Coot on the Coast Live, and I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have an awesome day.